For this video review, we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series, Robert Grant Graves. Okay, so this action figure is basically G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Stalker, the, bi the base body, upper and lower, just a different neck, a different head, then different gear. Um, the placement of the gear with regards to the plate carrier, I'm okay with that. I still have enough space or room to really modify this figure. So I have pouches which I could possibly reposition. But the thing that really irks me with regards to this action figure is the placement of the cross draw holster and the placement of the magazine caddy on the pistol holster uh, on the pistol holster or the battle belt. If you're a right-hand shooter, we're in, in this case, this figure is presented as a right-hand shooter because of the placement of the cross draw section. If this, pers uh, this, this figure was a left-hand shooter, the cross draw would be on this section. But this, this is just way too far out. But nothing that we could possibly change. So let's proceed with the build. So with regards to the inclusion of the helmets, um, I'm really happy that I have a steel brigade helmet which I could use in a future kit bash or build. Um, but with regards to this helmet, those velcroed sections on the helmet wherein you place your subdued patches like the flag, your blood type, and your identification strobe that is not painted so these are all is possible also an area that we need to paint the data and communication device that is detachable from the plate carrier but it does not really sit flush on the vest as you could see so still a floating piece so something that we also need to address with regards to this build um, this too is way too floppy so we're going to place a little bit of paint or possibly nail polish on the hinges to make it a little bit tighter so it won't flap easy like this so this is my version of Robert Grant Graves or simply G.I. Joe Grant. So let's start with the changes that I incorporated or made to this action figure to make it look this way. So this is my version. Okay, so let's get rid of the backpack first. So instead of using the original green backpack that this action figure came with, somehow the um, color green drowns out much of the details of the action figure. So to add color, I changed the backpack from the green one that is standard issued with this figure to the one that is included with G.I. Joe Classified Series Dusty. So I also have dusty parts on board, several dusty parts. So I have a lot of this backpack. Okay, so let's start once again with the head unit. So incorporation of protective eyewear, ballistic glasses that comes from G.I. Joe classified series, Snake Eyes Origins, Baroness. So Baroness figure you could get at all is for less than five dollars and you could take the figure apart you have a weapon magazine two knives and parts that you could use for future build okay so next is to have instead of a chin strap that is not connected so i connected those chin strap so for realistic purpose so this guy is not going to lose his head cover in the field Okay, and the last item is to, what I did was to paint the portions of the Velcro on the helmet. So that's supposed to be a painted part. So I painted this section, the back section, the side section, and the top. Okay, so changes to the vest. 
incorporation of a radio communication device comes from G.I. Joe classified series rock and roll which you could find now at clearance so you could take the figure apart and you have several accessories that you could mix and match with action figures like Grant. Okay, so changes on the data communication uh, device or the chess computer. So as you could see on the side that is already as close as possible to the plate carrier so it's no longer a semi floating piece so i chopped off the peg shortened the peg and glued the back portion of the data comp or the data link or the computer system to the chest carrier and this thing that i also did was to um, add a little bit of nail polish on the underside of the hinges so even without that knife as you could see it won't flap open so that is nice and tight and you could position it in ways that you want so for example this way and is looking at the start uh, the stock market <laughs> the present financial situation of the united states up and down up and down <laughs> okay so next item what is this so that used to be a gi joe classified series um tiger force outback flashlight which i converted into a rifle grenade canister so instead of an M203, that is your uh, rifle grenade that you could simply attach to the end of the um, G36 and fire from the rifle. So no need of lagging a M203. So how many do you need? Well, you could store one on the chest rig and have several on inside the backpack okay so last changes on this action figure the pistol so that used to be a cross draw so its location was supposed to be on this section so i cut the belt off the section of the pistol holster and this used to be a thigh mounted pouch so i cut off the straps and glue them to the holster of the pistol so right now the pistol is a thigh mounted um, thing so the pouch which was supposed to be in this location is now a fanny pack or medical kit that is situated on the front of the figure or the character so for easy access so instead of having your traditional med kit which you attach on this section or on the back section of your vest um i sometimes um soldiers or operators would carry medical kits this way it's more accessible Okay, so this section is supposed to be a mag caddy carrier for the rifle. But I changed the rifle that is included with the action figure. So this now sports a G36. So I converted that into a pistol magazine carrier. So I just cut off a very simple piece of plastic that could possibly fit in and look like a pistol magazine so he has spare ammunition for the pistol and this now uh, it used to be on this side so i relocated it to the left thigh so he could store um, possibly smoke grenades on this section okay so last item is going to be the change in weapons so from an m16 rifle 
So this now sports a G36 from Action Force Valvers. And the small magazine that is included with this G36, I changed it and modified the mag that is a Action Force Valvers um, AK47 mag. So I just resized the top portion of the magazine that would engage the magwell of the G36. So this now sports a 100 round mag. So those are the simple changes that I did to this action figure. So majority of the items on board. So you have four rifle magazines, a data link system or a microcomputer. You have your communication device your grenade, your pistol, your medical kit, your pistol ammunition, and you have your other accessories which you could store on this pouch. And of course, your backpack, knife, and weapon. So, if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.